Hi everyone, Adam over at Phillips RV in Bradley, Illinois. I'm here to show you our Amerilite 2022 or our 2022 Amerilite 199RK. So this is the rear kitchen. Um, and Amerilite is sort of the smaller units that, that Gulfstream makes out of their uh, factory over in Indiana. Um, this is gonna be a lighter unit. The gross vehicle weight is gonna be actually less than 5,000 pounds. So basically if you've got a small SUV that can tow up to 6,000 pounds, 5,000 pounds, you'll actually be okay pulling this one. So come over here. We're gonna, we just walked in the main door, but right when you walk in you've got your bed right here this is going to be a queen bed um, up here you do have basically all your connections to where you can mount a tv right here so you've got your cables you do have access this would be your uh, antenna on top of the roof you got your 110 and the backer location is telling you where the stud is so that you can then mount it and watch tv in peace moving over here you've got a nice couch right here which will make into a bed um, this is going to be your control panel for all of your main items so you can get the, the levels for your battery, your fresh tank, your black tank, your gray tank. Um, you do have an electronic awning so you can extend or retract from here. you got water heater fight by gas, electric, and then your water pump, and then also control for your lights. Um, the nice thing is on this one you do have all LED lights so it is bright, but the nice thing about this too is i got no lights on at the moment, but all I've got is just the blinds open for these nice big windows and it really gives in a lot of natural light, which is a really nice feature of this Amerilite. Um, in here, you've got your AC unit. You're gonna have 13, 13 5 BTUs for your AC. This does do a very nice job cooling in the summer. Um, you've got a nice little dinette, which will go down and make into a, we'll call it a half bed from this standpoint. Um, but you got some lounging room there nonetheless. You've got an all electric fridge. So again, as compared to most camping fridges, you're gonna get right around 11 cubic feet of storage space, which is really nice to use these. Um, also, it just, it runs off battery power, so you're not draining any propane. Um, this right here is gonna be your thermostat. And then now we're gonna come into the rear kitchen area. So you've got a nice sink right here. You've got a lot of counter space, which is really nice. Um, standard microwave, two burner stove, and then right below me, uh, this is gonna be your furnace and that's gonna be your one furnace where it's gonna basically, you can spin it around and directionalize all the different uh, heat when it's coming in. Uh, you do have a small skylight right there, the vent does open. And then coming in here, we've got our bathroom. So you got a shower, which you can step into. Now again, I'm about six foot tall. So just so you can get an idea, I'm standing straight up and I can still shower within this. So. It's a nice way to just sort of put a gauge. Sometimes people are afraid of the height, but again, I'm not scrunching down, not doing anything. I'm standing up, even if I get on my tippy toes, I've still got a little bit more room here. So step in and step out. You've then got a nice, you've got a sink, you've got a small medicine cabinet to open up and put stuff in and your toilet. And really the, the nice thing about this unit is just, again, it's, it's small, it's easy. It's got all your basics that you need to just sort of get up and go for a nice weekend and no worries at all. My name is Adam. Again, the RV manager over at Phillips RV in Bradley, Illinois, and we can talk more about Gulfstreams anytime or anything about this unit.